Looking at number four, we want to answer the following concerning Le Chatelier's principle um, with this kind of generic here, nondescript reaction where some red reactant A, that's a gas, um, is in equilibrium with two moles of another gas um, that is um, green, okay? And so whatever else is going on in the system, we're not worried about it, but those two things affect our equilibrium. Delta H is plus 10 kilojoules per mole, and so we'll answer the following questions. At high pressure in a lower volume container, the reaction will shift either right or left. And so there are more moles of gas on the right-hand side. And so if we're, we're putting a stress on the system to increase pressure, it's going to push the reaction back to the left to help alleviate that increase in pressure. And so we shift it to the left um, as we uh, increase pressure on that system. If A is added to the container, the equilibrium will shift to the right because there'll be too much reactant. And so um, the reaction quotient would then um, be too small and we would need to shift to the right to get back to um, equilibrium. If the reaction is heated to a very high temperature, what color will the reaction vessel be? Well, if heat is a reactant, Okay, it is a um, endothermic reaction. Then if we are adding heat, the reaction is heated to a very high temperature. It is going to um, cause the net conversion of A to B, which would turn it to more green. Okay, so however you describe that, it would be more green just because um, we are taking that reaction and shifting it to the right again by adding heat to the system, okay? Endothermic, um, exothermic would be exactly the opposite. It'd shift back left, but since we're endothermic, we'd shift it to more green. If B is added to the container, QC will be less than, equal to, or greater than KC. And so what um, the measurement of KC and QC both depend on the concentration of uh, product over the concentration of reactant. Um, and so it's proportional to Kc as well. So if, if the increase um, in the product side, so we add B, the product gets too big, that means the K, the K or the Q value, the reaction quotient, if the product is too big, would be greater than Kc, because Kc is going to be um, product over reactant. Here in this case, it would be B um, squared over A. And if we increase the amount of B by some value, it's going to increase um, the value of Q by Kc uh, or by X squared, and that's going to make it greater than when the product side is too large for the reaction quotient, it will shift back left in order to form um, the proper equilibrium.